Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to share the video. Um, guys, if you want merch, make sure you click the link in the description bar or down below. You'll see different merch. It's more, maybe more if you click on it and kind of browse through it. Because I just added two different things. And also guys, if you want to be a part of the chatterbox, make sure that you do join by clicking the link. You do have to be at least 18 years old. It is a dollar and 99 cents. Now let's just get to this video. So guys, I've been super, super busy. Wanted to give you a quick update and I'm gonna change baby Nigel. And baby Nigel, for those that may be new to my channel or may just not know, Nigel is Mr. Willow Awake. He is the prototype number three. I always get it confused. He's prototype number three. And he's um, poor painted, rooted by Claire Taylor dolls. And so it's so funny because I say that in almost all my videos, but then I get like comments. Even if I put by Claire Taylor in the title, people will still ask me. Who made that doll? Where do you get that doll from? So I'm like, um, it's in the title and I just said it. So it's kind of, it, it, it's kind of crazy. I know you guys probably like, why she keeps saying that? But that's part of the reason why I always say it because I always get the question, but still, I guess me saying it sometimes don't really help either. But, um, yeah, so I am going to get him dressed. Oh, I hate, I hate that I, I use powder on one of his, um, his nipples. And so the residue, the white powder is like right there in his mouth. I can see it when the, when the light hit it, I'll have to take a damp cloth and wipe it out. I don't like it to see it, but, um, but yeah, so, um, so, okay, so yesterday, yesterday, I rooted for seven hours straight, um, and seven hours straight, and I got quite a bit done with, um, Mr. Finny Poo, so I, like, do my different shifts. I, I sometimes I stay up all night working on my dolls. I've been painting and rooting, but one of the things that I wanted to do was I want to finish Finn by this weekend. So I think he'll be done by this weekend for sure. Cause all I have left is the front of his hair. And so I'm hoping that by the weekend he will the upcoming weekend he will be done and then um i am working on a new baby which will be available shortly after i won't um show that baby um until it is rooted um so um, it is the Evie Sculpt by Laura Lee Eagles. I painted my version of that one. It's a Reborn. I will tell you guys that much. Um, but I've decided not to show it until I'm completely done. However, on the flip side, you know, with everything that has transpired with me personally, I was having a moment and I just felt like I wanted to make a doll for myself so I made I've been working on myself a new baby I will show that baby as soon as he is done um seem like I'm about to have all boys again but um he's just I don't know he's so adorable I don't even know if I want to change him out the diaper I was gonna put him on a new diaper I was gonna put him on this diaper 
but he looks so cute in that diaper. I think I'm gonna keep him in that diaper. What you guys think? He should just keep it on. Right? Should just keep it on. So, yeah. I love, I love, love, love her sculpting because they just look so real. Like, look at this. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Looks so real. Oh, man. It is crazy. So, I've been looking at a lot of, um, oh, I am going to sell one of my personal babies, but I am trying to wait to see if I can, like, order at least one outfit to contribute to their going home stuff because, you know, all the stores and stuff, everything is closed up, so it's very hard to get, like, going home stuff. Um, but I will, I will be, um, selling one of my personal babies. I've made that decision to go ahead and do that. So that baby will be going up for sale, um, soon. It's a reborn, not a silicone. Only silicone babies I have right now are my personal babies that I don't plan to sell and if I can help it, um, which is my Noah and my Nigel, which you guys will see Noah next because I, him and, um, <laughs> little boy, him and, uh, Nigel is actually getting ready to be in their matchy, matchy little sets. Oh, I didn't unstop this part. I suck at getting them dressed on, um, camera. And on the changing table, I haven't did this in a long time. Gosh. I really, um. I really, 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 um. Where is, how's this go? Okay. Let's go over here. <laughs> oh my God. I'm so over it. So, it's so funny because I'm always like, when I start picking out what they're going to wear when they have like matching sets, it's like, I'm always trying to guess who's going to look better in what skin tone. So, I decided to put him in this. I think I'm going to put Nigel, not Nigel, Noah. This stupid pillow, I'm so over it. I'm going to put Noah in... Either the yellow or the white, but they have like matching, you'll see. And then if you follow me on Instagram, which you guys should be following me on Instagram, you will be able to see me, um, see them together. Cause I'm gonna take them some photos together once they get dressed. And I'm working on some changes. I'm not really, some other changes as well. So hopefully soon, in the next week or two, I'll be able to share that with you guys as well. So I'm just working on a lot of different things, keeping myself busy. Um, a lot of stuff going on. Um, sometimes stuff come up and it just stresses you out. So I just, I just use my hobby as an escape to just get away from some of this stuff. Like... I don't know. I've just gotten so busy with the the painting st side and my just enjoying my collection. I I said I was gonna um, keep my Lucy too. I'm hoping I keep her, but you know how that go. <laughs> um, I just, I have so many. Well, look at there. Now I think you need your pillow back. But I don't want that pillow. I want a, I need a neck pillow. That one sucks. For the silicone anyway, because they, they wiggle.
see. Now see that works better. Because it don't, you know, it keeps them from their little head rolling. There we go. There we go, man. So, yeah. I could put him on some socks, too. Put him on some colorful socks. I need to... I didn't bring his socks in here, but I, I'll I'll have him. I'll put him on some. I think I got some colorful socks, so I'll put him on some um, maybe some gold socks or blue socks. I don't want to put him on white socks. His little head. I love I love the willow head shape. They have a really nice size head too. It's like. I don't know, just, this is just like my, I've said this a thousand times, but I'm going to keep saying it. It's like my all-time favorite Claire Teller sculpt. Like if I never collect another Claire Teller doll, ooh, this sounds so cliche, I would be okay. However, I don't think that, <laughs> that it's going to stop here. So, with that being said, look at him. Oh my goodness. I'm not even usually a big awake fan, but I love him and the fin. I will take them all day long, the the awake version. Oh, you know what? I should have what I should have did for you guys, I should have put him in girl clothes just so you guys can see what he looked like as a girl. I know he'll be a pretty girl. I want to see that for myself anyway. See it. what what it would look like to have a girl awake, Willow. A little girl. A little girly girl. All right. So, there you have it. He is all set. Has his baba. Have his baba. And he will take his baba. But yeah, so look for, hopefully I'll have good pictures of Finn. I don't know, his little hair is pretty thick. And um, I don't wanna cut it too short. Cause you know, once you cut too short, you're done. Like that's it, you can't go back. But I don't want it to be too long either. So I don't know. But the rooting itself don't look bad, in my opinion. Um, but as far, but I haven't did the front yet, so let me not speak too soon. I gotta finish the front. Um, so you know, the main thing is not having it plug in, looking a hot mess that way. Like you can run your hands through it, but it's it's a full head of hair. He has a full head of hair, so it's just his back part is done. Now I gotta do the front, which is. Oh, my challenge, but I'm ready and I can't wait for you guys to meet my personal baby that I am making. This one I hope will end up being one of my forever ever babies. Um, I am actually not painting it to look like my grandbaby, but I did take some of the markings that I, in some of her photos that she had and I am actually putting some of those markings well I won't it's like two main markings that stood out to me and I gave him that those markings and um so yeah so I wanted to to do that and um so and he's a boy he's not gonna be a girl so I'm not doing a baby to look like her but I am using um using their pictures for reference a little bit on some stuff on coloring and stuff like that so um that's that's been fun um fun 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 because i'm working on a preemie boy and you know so i have preemie preemie grandbaby so um anyway guys that is it for now uh i know i owe you guys a live stream it's coming <laughs> but um yeah, that's it. Be safe. Talk to you guys later.